Kokomo getting action started this morning at Loeb. Raiders up one nothing, but the Cats are putting the heat on. Everyone's safe on the bunt attempt. Kokomo has runners on the corners with two outs, but the Raiders respond. Michael Carnahan, he will get out of the jam. As Carnahan gets the pop up in the infield, Raiders escape the top of the third without allowing a run. They would lead this game until the fourth inning, and that's when the Cats would come alive. Mitch Fry will be at the plate. He hits it through the left side. That allows Drew Sawyer to score. We're tied at one. And then Kokomo would add another run in the inning on a throwing error by Harrison. Kokomo advances to the sectional finals with a 2 1 win. Game two had Lafayette Jeff taking on the Logansport Berries. Pick it up. Broncos half of the first inning. Logansport Zach Bennett with the strikeout of the Jeff's leadoff hitter. But then he walks the next three, and all of a sudden the bases are loaded for Brayton Harrington. And on the 3 2 pitch, Harrison will come up in a big way, taking it deep and gone down the left field line. More on Harrington's home run later. All of a sudden, it is 4 0 Broncos. And Jeff is not done yet because Peter Ripke comes up and he gets the job done after that slam by Harrington with the sack fly to left field. Plenty deep enough to score Hunter Elser from third, 5 0 at that point. Broncos go on to win this one in five innings. 10 zip is the final. All right. Game one at Central Catholic earlier today had Frontier taking on Clinton Prairie. Bottom of the third we go. Frontier threatening. Runners on first and second. Senior Dylan Kane has had enough of this scoreless game. Deep and gone to straightaway center field. Falcons up 3 0, and they were not done yet. It's the, the pitcher, Hunter Gladish, with the RBI double. That scores Silas Maxwell. Frontier scores five runs in the third inning, all with two outs. And that was more than enough run support for the top ranked team in Class A. Falcons advancing to the sectional title game with a 10-0 victory in six innings. Game two, it was the host Knights taking on the Rossville Hornets. Rossville an early 2-0 lead, but the Knights come back in a big way. Freshman Evan Kennedy, the single through the right side. That scores Andrew Huberts from third. Knights up, now 3-2. Then it is junior Nick Stone and the upperclassman playing uh, add-on. That double off the wall scores Kennedy from first. Knights lead is now 4-2. And then junior Austin Munn on the mound today. He would not let his team lose this one. Gets the strikeout right there. Gets another strikeout to end the inning. And the Knights cruise to a 13-2 victory over Rossville. Other scores to pass along. Benton Central defeats Northwestern 7-2. West Lafayette was no hit, yet they still won over Frankfurt 1-0. Highlights of the Bison and the Red Devils tonight at 11. In sectional softball, Delphi downs Carroll 11-0. Highlights of this game, along with post-game reaction tonight at 11.